this is a little tutorial on how to pick the just right book. I know that most of you have picked lots of books already and you are pretty confident in how you pick a book, but I wanted to review with you some ways to select a book so that you can continue to be successful as a wise reader. As readers, we have so many choices in what we read, so making a wise choice is really important. The choices help you grow as a reader. And after all, we all want to grow so we can be more successful because reading is important in every part of our lives. The first question you need to ask yourself is what have you read lately? Keeping a reading log is really important so that you can reflect upon your reading. As you read, look back at your reading log, have you read a lot of a certain kind of book? Maybe you've read a whole lot of realistic fiction lately, or maybe you've really been interested in bi biographies. Perhaps it's time to explore a new genre. Reading a variety of genres is one way that you can continue to grow and be a successful and wise reader. Second question, how do I initially pick a book? There are lots of ways to pick a book. Think about the way you'd like to pick a book and record your way on your ticket in for tomorrow. It's really important that you think about some ways that you pick a book. I know when I select a book to read, it's usually based on a recommendation from a friend and, or from a colleague. So it's really important that you listen and talk with people about books. Another way you might pick a book is perhaps a teacher has read a part or all of a book and you want to go back and read it for yourself. There are lots of other ways that you could pick a book, so be thinking about that. The third question you need to ask yourself is, can I read this book easily on my own? If you are able to read a book independently on your own, that's the kind of book you want to be reading. There are lots of ways to determine if this is a book that you can read on your own. Here's a strategy many of you may already use, and if you're not familiar with it, it might be a strategy that you could use from now on. It's called the Five Finger Rule. Open the book to the middle and read the page. If you can read it without any trouble, that book may be too easy. If one to three words give you a little bit of trouble, it's probably just right. If five or more of the words make it hard for you to understand that book, then this book is probably too hard and you need to try it a little bit later when you have grown more as a reader. What happens if you don't like a book? I know that I've come across books that I thought I'd really enjoy or maybe it was made as a recommendation, but I got into it and I was like, this book isn't for me. It's okay from time to time to stop reading a book or what we call abandoning. Just make a note in your reading log because it's important to keep track of our behaviors and reading patterns. However, if you are abandoning lots of books, you may need to talk with your teacher, your parents, or your librarian to find a way that you can pick a book that you can stick with. Sometime this week, before Friday, you need to complete the following form that's online. You can click on this blue link or you can get a copy from your teacher in class. Be sure to complete it because you will need to share this um, information with your book club on Friday and this will be a great way for us to begin picking more books and being wise readers.